thing you can take to the bank, and that is if you want to know where there's always going to be a traffic jam. Always. I don't give a fuck if it's midnight on a Sunday night. If you're trying to cross the open sewer of the Mississippi River on I-10 in the shithole of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, you are going to get stuck in a fucking traffic jam. So I'm here before four o'clock in the afternoon. Here it is Tuesday. I think it might be April 11th, 2023. Uh, I am heading back across the Mississippi River. I think it was January 21st that I crossed this river uh, in Memphis heading west to the shithole state of Texas. And now here I am crossing this river here in the middle of the shithole state of Louisiana. And uh, Some parts of Louisiana I'm okay with. Like we just came across the Atchafalaya Swamp. I like that stretch. So you, you know, so when you're heading east you're coming across the Atchafalaya and you have this shit waiting at the end of it. Uh, God. So there is the open sewer. I have, uh, was hearing something about that the level of the river was really down, but I don't see that at all. The, the river level, at least here in, uh, the shithole of Baton Rouge is is pretty much right up to uh, looks to me like right exactly where it is supposed to be. It's not dry and it's not flooded. And there is the shithole of downtown Baton Rouge. Louisiana. I mean, it just is it's, it's truly a cesspool. You know, this is is Baton Rouge. I guess this is considered kind of the eastern gateway to Cancer Alley. The the whole stretch from uh, Houston to Baton Rouge, which I have just taken, is uh, affectionately known as Cancer Alley. I guess it's the section between uh, what uh, Lake Charles and Lake Charles, Louisiana, and Beaumont, Texas, is ground zero for Cancer Alley. Is having this, you know, just this uh, super spike in environmentally related diseases, cancer, whatever. Uh, it is this section of the U U.S. which is, it's one of the big toilets of the planet is what it is. It's kind of like our own little slice of Eastern Europe that if, uh, you know, the U.S. had uh, an industrial wasteland. Well, I guess maybe all of that shit. Well, maybe this was the southern industrial wasteland. Uh, for years. And it is, I guess, I don't know, is Baton Rouge Boomtown? I, I don't know if people are pouring into this goddamn shithole of a town. But, uh,. What a surprise, back in a traffic jam in this fucking hellhole. Uh, I am east of the Mississippi River. Don't know, probably that is April 11th, May, June, July, August. Probably for at least seven months, minimally seven months, I will be on the east side of the open sewer. 
see what kind of uh, catastrophe awaits me on the east side of the sewer as life in hell in 2023 continues to unfold right on track the uh, collapse of everything seems to be uh, right going right along as planned I see no evidence here that uh, the collapse of this planet is not in full swing. Good fucking God. So I see we have Dow Chemical, a billboard for Dow Chemical. Dow 125 is Dow been a uh, poisoning the planet for 125 years. I'm not sure what Dow 125 is. So we have, uh, I didn't realize Jack Daniels had a Louisiana flavor. So we've got Dow Chemical on one side of the street and, uh, Dow Chemical on the other, and of course, you know, I'm getting on I-12, which is completely fucked. Completely fucked. Anywho's, that's my life. Hotlanta GA, don't know if I'm going to make Hotlanta or not. We shall see. Bye guys.